all right guys so i am in jacksonville florida walking up to the house of uh one john p chapman if y'all don't know it the p stands for preston but everybody else knows him as chappy so we're gonna head up here and let me show y'all what we got what we got going on say howdy fellas hello hello good morning good morning good morning that right there that's the man that's uh that's chappy we won't get into the rest of it <laughs> we'll let this guy right here introduce himself tell you who he is where he's from and how long he's been teaching chappy how to fish <laughs> dustin martinson from jacksonville here and been fishing with chappy for about 20 years all right guys so we are rigged up chappy and dustin are finishing up polishing up their last little bit of stuff they're gonna jump in the truck and then we're headed to the beach so uh stay tuned for some teethy critters and poon action right now all right so we finally got all of our gear loaded chappy is pulling out and leading the way we're gonna hit a tackle shop on the way to pick up some more weights and i think some more circle hooks and then it's off to the beach tarpon and shark off the coast of uh jacksonville florida switching it up a little bit from my usual bass fishing but uh actually i've got quite a bit of saltwater experience most people don't realize that because i'm the the kayak bass fishing guy but all right guys we are here uh somewhere in jacksonville and uh hey, the rocks behind you throw it all, <laughs> that's dustin there's the rocks back there if you can if you know where that's at, you can figure it out on your own. Say, you know, in Jackson, the rocks right here in one place. <laughs> All right, Chappy, tell everybody what we're doing. We're going to go out here. We're going to get in these pogey pods. You can see them splashing, little splashes on the top. We're going to throw a quarter ounce pyramid weight. Hold on, let me get a little closer. Quarter ounce pyramid weight with two <laughs> treble hooks on it. <laughs> and get that thing out of my face. <laughs> we're going to snag a pogey about six to ten inches long. We're going to watch for the tarpon to jump up and uh, go over there and drop it behind them. And uh, if we don't see any tarpon jumping up, we're gonna just feed the pogey back into the pod and uh, grab a shark or two. So uh, it makes how for big some, are the sharks? <laughs> it makes for some good rod bending action. Come on, man. They ain't as big how as big the, How big are the tarpon out here? <laughs> they, they big. They big? They, they bigger All than right. me. So we're going after some big fish today. Um, who's who's hooking up? Call it now. Are you, are you hooking up tarpon? Shark. Usually the luckiest dude with the smallest rods. So okay, all right. The luckiest dude. So I'm undergunning, bringing the lightest rods so that I can guarantee that I no, hook no, up. No, no, Big dude, small rod. That means yeah, exactly. <laughs> the story of Chappie's life. Unless you're talking about height. Because when we head back to his house later to organize my gear, I'm going to show you the step ladder in his kitchen that he uses to get a coffee cup in the morning. So anyway, we're gonna we're about to launch right there. Tide's coming in and moving the boats and get out there and get after them. All right, well, Chappie's got the first shark of the day. Hooked by the tail. Pretty much tail hooked it. I'm trying to come over here and get in on some bait. And uh, the shark seems to be towing Chappie along with the school, so I'm going to get in here and try to get him. Here we go. A dang on gap top. The nastiest thing in the ocean. hooked up. Look at that. 
pick him up right at the boat. Let's get over here and see if we can get in on the action. He's putting some heat on it. What'd it be, Chappie? Uh-oh. What'd it be? Make it show itself. Probably the man in the gray suit. A little drag screaming. Oh, look at the tarpon right there in front of you. It's busted bait. Yeah, oh yeah. All right, let me spin around. Let me spin around and get a look at him. Uh-oh. He's bowed up. He is bowed up. a good one that is a good one if you can get him back up to the surface again i'll hook it up you know when you go and get him up there all right guys i'm just gonna leave the camera running so y'all can see this hold on all right one more time oh, one more time <laughs> One more, one more time. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> cool. Let me get him up close and let's get a little better with it. Yeah. Yeah, they're right here too. Right out in front of us. Right there, right there. Right on that pod. Chappie going to bring him up to the surface. Ooh, look at that. He's right there under you. He's coming around by your fins. And we're going to bring him up. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That's a good one. He wants to say hi. Here. What's the power of that mouth? Let me see. All right, guys. So I don't know if you can, how well this is going to translate in video without polarization. But I've got a big pot of bait right here in front of me. Uh, I've got one bait right here ready to kind of throw back. And I've thrown one out on the edge and uh chappie's already hooked up a couple big sharks i've hooked up two but they cut me off um we've seen tarpon um breach bush bait crash bait just haven't been able to get on them there's a boat about 200 yards from us just jumped a monster they're probably 150 160 pounder and they're out here the uh the wind laid out a bit the water slicked out the bait's starting to get bunched up again and uh we're just cruising these bait pods watching for tarpon i've got one bait like i said right here really short just swimming you know ready to pitch if i see one cruising and then i've got one that i've just drifted back into the pod so huh oh 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 Oh, that shark just came up and ate it right at the bow. <laughs> Holy cow. Keep your feet in. Oh, man. I'm sure you guys will be able to see that. And I don't know if he'll come back, but dang, that was pretty cool. 